guys really exciting news this is what I've been waiting for. Holy crap. I went, I've been waiting for this for like for like a year, like easily a year. So I was bored at work cruising Blender Dev Talk, as you do when you're bored at work. And I, I came across this little bit right here. Brecht got an initial support of GPU compositor used for a non-viewport compositor. And I, I was like, what, 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 really? What? <laughs> we don't, we don't just have viewport compositor anymore. We have like actually an actual GPU compositor and we do. Yeah, that's, that's what's going on. I've been waiting for this since like they announced the viewport compositor. Um, all right. Yeah. Anyway, it, it is what you think it is. It's so great. We can now like render our animations with the viewport compositor instead of the CPU old time compositor. So, so let me show you guys what, uh, what this is about. All right. So here I am in the, <clears throat> in the blender compositor and I've got this crazy, dumb, inefficient, disgusting compositor mess right here that does like add some dust on the, on the front of the lens and it adds grain, throws some like lens flares and, uh, and glare in there and stuff like that. And, uh, it works pretty well, except um, like I said, it's big and dumb and efficient and let's just try making like one little switch on this uh, on this mix node and see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna change that one number. I got my, my stopwatch here. We're gonna press okay at the same time. Okay, one, two, three, go. You can see here we are we are compositing. We are compositing. We're still compositing. The composite continues. Let me just show you we are we are using a whole ton whole ton of my my CPUs all okay and there we go. It just finished. 16 seconds and 75 milliseconds. Okay, I'm gonna do it with the GPU compositor now and I'm gonna change the, the flares now so we can really see a change. Okay, one, two, three, go. Done. 2.7 point, 2 point 2.65? 2 2.65. It was probably less than that, honestly. I'm not very not very coordinated. Honestly, it was, it was when I was practicing, it was a little faster than that. I think like doing the OBS recording is maybe affecting things a bit. Um, it's like, it's fast. It's real fast. And it's so, so, it's so, 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 so good. I'm so happy about this. Because when you think about it, it doesn't really matter how fast you're able to render like the actual scene if you get to the composite and that takes another 30 seconds. Like if you put a 30 second composite onto every frame of a 600 frame animation, that's still five hours added to your render which is nuts, which is so much. <laughs> okay, so let me real quick uh, show you guys how to do this. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to blender.org, blender.org, and we're gonna go to download, and we're not gonna download that one, we're gonna go down to experimental, and we're gonna get the Blender 4.0 alpha, and then once you have that extracted and in your C drive, all you gotta do is go into edit, preferences, and then it'll be at the interface here. You're gonna enable developer extras here and that'll create this nice little tab right there. Go to experimental. And then there is, oh my God, so much cool stuff in here that I wanna play with. But today we're just gonna be playing with experimental compositors. So you just wanna enable that. And then just in case, save your preferences. And I think that should be good. And then, yeah, the last thing you gotta do is you gotta be in your, in your compositor, press N for end menu <laughs> um, and then it will normally be on tiled here but you're going to switch it from tiled to real-time gpu and i'll kind of gray out all the settings here but it'll be it'll work they'll be the gpu compositor just like you wanted just like i wanted just like i've been waiting for all right and just to just to hammer home the point let's uh let's do a little animation here so i'm gonna i'm gonna grab a yellow cube turn on auto keyframe uh, hit play and G. I'm gonna make it dance over on this side, dance over on this side, go all about, dance, dance, dance. We're gonna make 200 frame animation and there. Sweet. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the purple cube. Hit space and G and it's gonna go whoa, whoa, whoa. And they're gonna dance together. Dancey, dancey, dance. Whoa. Holy moly. All right. And we're at 200. Sweet. And then we're gonna take this guy and he is just gonna. Um, we're just gonna make him do do spins. He's gonna be he's gonna be the Tony Hawk of open source software. Whoa, do the 900. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then it goes back, reversed it. All right, we're good. All right, change this 200. Open the XR. Yep, yep, that's what I want. All right, and this is gonna be the uh, the old way, the tiled way. Let's do that, and then Control F12. Let's render this bad boy. Never mind, I lied. We're not gonna do two full the full 200 frames. We're only gonna do because I, I realized. Okay, this is 17 seconds. 17 seconds times 200 frames equals 
that many seconds. So in minutes, divide by 60, it's gonna be about an hour to do that. I don't really want to wait for an hour. So we're just gonna do 20 frames. I also, I also forgot to check the time I, I started it. So it's not gonna work anyway, sorry. <laughs> All right, and then just for fun, let's switch to the real-time GPU. That one, change it to a different number. Okay, control F12. Huh, three, three point one seconds? 3.13? 3.13 seconds? Oh, interesting, 3.19 seconds? This is like six times faster. Granted, it's like the easiest animation in the world to, or the easiest scene to render. So like compositing is like doing a lot of the work here, but like, Come on, this is, you can see the frames pass, it's so nice. And uh, yeah, if we if we get the calculator back up here. Okay, this one's a long frame, it's 3.3 .3 seconds times 200 equals 660 divided by, divide by 660. It's gonna take 11 minutes compared to 56 minutes. Oh my God, no comparison. No comparison is great. And yeah, like I said, this this compositing you know, structure is like pretty, pretty messy. It's pretty big tangle of spaghetti. Um, so it, it's not an ideal circumstance, but it's also like, it's the way I like to work sometimes. Like I like to get nice lens flares in Blender because I'm more comfortable with the Blender compositor and it is just like really gonna help my workflow a lot. Also, as you can see, there are pretty big differences in the ways that the CPU and the GPU do their special compositing effects. There's definitely gonna take a little bit of tweaking on my part to get it to my GPU version to look like the CPU version, but ah, I'm, I'm happy doing that. It's just like do, dial in your settings from cycles to EV, like same deal. Okay, and I think that's it. I've just been waiting for this for a very long time since they uh, announced the viewport compositor. And um, yeah, thank you, Omar and Brecht. Um, I think they're the, the main people kind of doing stuff on here. Sorry if I didn't mention some other people, but this video is also gonna get like 20 views, so no big deal. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks, I hope you enjoy this.